So hello guys, this is the man Rapier Fire here once again, my guys with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a gun review all about the M416 carbine. Now this video was requested by a guy named Mr. Wilson. He requested that I make a 416 carbine review a long time ago, but I just did not have enough time to make it. But now I do, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Now the gun review will have two parts to it, the first part will be without any attachments and the second part will be with attachments. You can see this with the red dot with a cross through it, but if you you know do not realize I will explain further right now. The gameplay that you are watching right now on Dalian is without any attachments, the gameplay that you will be watching on Myanmar will be without attachments as well, and the gameplay that you will be watching on Master later on that will be with attachments. And the attachments that I will be using will be as follows. I will be using the Stabilize Stack, Viper Max, Precision Barrel and Rapid Aim Red Dot. With all of that out of the way, let's get on with the actual gun review. The HK416 was developed by Heckler & Koch for US Special Operation Forces as a major product improvement of M4 and M16 type carbines and rifles. The HK416 has been combat proven in Southwest Asia and has also gained the attention of military law enforcement and security users outside of the US. In April 2007, the HK416 was also selected as the new Norwegian Army Rifle. Now the 416 Carbine and Battlefield Play Free is an assault weapon which is much um, similar to the M4A1. The M4A1 and the M416 share you know a lot of the same features and I will explain you know more about them as we go on with the video. To kick things off the 416 carbine has a you know rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. This is the you know standard amount of rate of fire for most of your assault weapons. Uh, it is the same as the M4 as well. Now one thing that the 416 carbine lacks over the M4 is the ammo count. Now the 416 carbine has 24 bullets per magazine with 3 magazines to spare giving you a total of 72 ammo in total. Uh, the ammo in total doesn't really matter since you're an assault anyway and you can drop ammo boxes whenever you like. But the M4 uh, has 26 bullets in total uh, so that's 2 bullets more and that can make a difference you know a lot of the time giving you 78 bullets in total which in my you know opinion doesn't matter at all. Now, um, one other thing is that the 416 carbine does excel in something that the M4 does not have. The 416 carbine, in my opinion, is more of a long range version of the M4. Um, I can see this uh, because of the projectile velocity. The projectile velocity of the 416 carbine is 650, unlike the M4's, you know, lagging 450. 650 is a really fast projectile velocity as some weapons get you know around close to 650 with the precision barrel but the 416 carbine has a 650 projectile velocity even without the precision barrel so when equipped with the precision barrel the projectile velocity will increase significantly and your shots will be hitting near instantly on longer ranges making this weapon really deadly over those ranges as well now let's talk about the deviation the deviation of the weapon is um, pretty low actually um, when you compare it to the M4. Compared to other weapons in the Assault class, the 416 Carbine does have quite a bit of deviation. Um, however, when you're burst firing and you know trying to control your recoil, the deviation will be pretty maintainable in my opinion, unlike with the M4, uh, yeah, unlike with the M4A1. The M4A1 has a quite a bit of deviation compared to the 416 carbine, whereas the 416 carbine, you know, the deviation of the weapon is pretty manageable, especially when trying to go full auto at close range. Now, of course, over longer ranges, you do want to burst. Uh, the recoil of this weapon uh, makes it pretty easy to do so at longer ranges. The recoil of this weapon isn't actually that significant in my opinion. I have seen, I have seen weapons with much worse deviation and recoil, um, than the 416 carbine. So in my opinion the 416 carbine uh, will benefit greatly for something like a balance stock or even something like a uh, precision stock to just keep the deviation low. Now uh, for you guys wondering here's a quick recoil comparison uh, between the 416 carbine with stabilized stock and without the stabilized stock. As you can see the recoil without the stabilized stock it's pretty hefty going you know all the way from the left to the right um, but with the stabilized stack, it's pretty manageable, um, you know, especially at longer ranges. 
Um, and the game that you're watching right now is with the stabilized tag as well, so you can see how it performs on longer ranges. However, using something like a tactical stock wouldn't be all that bad on this weapon as well, because of course you do want to, you know, get some deviation control as well, but I simply prefer using the stabilized stock on the 416 carbine. Now the recoil time of the weapon is a bit wonky. Um, on the comparison tool, it sets uh, a recoil, no, a reload time of around 4.35 seconds. But in my testing right here, as you can see, I came around a number of 4.09. Uh, it isn't that big of a difference, but it should be something that you keep in mind. Now, if you would compare this to the, you know, M4, it wouldn't be such a difference because the M4 has a reload time of four seconds. Now, the damage of the 416 carbine is nothing stellar compared to the um, M4, but I will list them anyway. From close range, it does 23 to 25 damage for a body shot and 48 to 53 damage for a headshot. At medium range, it does 20 to 22 damage for a body shot and 42 to 46 damage for a headshot. And at longer ranges, it drops off to 18 to 22 damage for a body shot and 38 to 46 damage for a headshot. This is actually pretty good damage for longer ranges. Um, it has, I think, one more damage. Yes, um, it has one more damage overall at longer ranges than the M4A1 does. This can make quite a bit of a difference sometimes, but um, it is nothing significant. But compared to the M4, it is, you know, one damage extra. So why not take that as an advantage? Now, one thing that the M4... Uh, a1 lacks compared to the 416 carbine is that the 416 carbine has more range than the m4a1 the 416 carbine um, has a range from let me see if i can find it the close the close range ranges from 0 to 20 meters compared to the m4a1 0 to 30 meters and the medium range goes from 20 to 40 meters whereas the m4a1 only has 13 to 25 meters and after that it drops off to long range so as you can see the damage is no the damage maintains pretty equal among all ranges and you will be doing more of your damage uh, with the m uh, with the m416 when you're playing on maps such as sharky because you know your range is a bit more and even if you're something like a standoff barrel your range will be increased even further so that's even better now uh, this video is coming to an end guys Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys found it useful as well. Uh, tell me what gun you want me to review, uh, you know, next. Tell me, tell me that in the comments. For now, guys, this has been the man by Pikify, and I'm out. Can't stop, failure's not an option Learn from our mistakes, we adapted as a doctrine Locked and reloaded and blood, sweat, devoted Thought that they could keep us down, we would stay demoted But nah, from the ashes we rose And dreams manifest through the actions we chose No time to slack, I tip my hat to he who actually knows If you plan a picture perfect, then you have to read Pose, you can't harm my army, I ain't through recruiting A bit of Michael Max with a splash, a Huey Newton Perseverance be the answer like the shoes I hoop in We won't rest until the day we get restitution They thought they let us fall by the wayside But we gon' fight into the building, face side Got an aspiration to heal in these lacerations Fascinations with fabrication, so tell me as a nation Who you gon' call when you're back against the wall And you got no time to start